Listen, this dance is not the type of dance that you dance when the food is already there. This is the type of dance that you dance when you know in your mind that you're about to prepare something special. So, my dear fellow family, be exquisite. Today is going to be something I love so much. Everybody in this household loves what I'm about to do or I'm about to prepare right now. So it is important <coughs> that I share this mouth-watering food with all of you. Today I'm going to be cooking poisson brisé. I wish I could give you guys an assignment to go check out <laughs> what poisson brisé means in English. Well, I'm not going to stress your brains too much, but for those of you who already know it, you know what I'm talking about. This is roasted fish. Yeah, can I call it? <laughs> that would be a direct um, translation. Yes, roasted fish. I love to call it poisson brisé because there is just something about, you know, calling it poisson brisé. I mean, it's something from way back. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? This is the type of distraction I'm talking about. The girls have gone to sleep. You should have gone to sleep. I don't hear fish. So I thought fish was cooking. <laughs> so there is a special way that we do our roasted fish, guys. So I'm going to be sharing with you our recipe, how we do it here on Elsie and the girls. If you follow the step one after the other, Trust me, you will get the exact same result. And I'll be more than grateful, more than happy to share in your success story. So, my exquisite family, you are all welcome to our YouTube channel, Elsie and the Girls. How are you all doing today? I hope you're safe. I always look forward to seeing you with my new videos. Thank you so much again for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Words cannot express how much I feel about each and every one of you. You're special to me and I'm working hard to make sure that this family stays intact and that you don't go no way. To all of you who are here for the very first time, I am so excited to have you on the platform and I'm looking forward to having you stay here for as long as possible. Exquisite family, let's get cooking. Now the fish has been thoroughly cleaned with all the gills and stomach removed. You may cut off the fins if you like, but I prefer to see my fish whole just the way it is. Here we have some frozen leeks and celery, very important ingredient when it comes to fish. And we also have some parsley here. This is the Italian parsley. You may also use the other type. It still works as well. Then we have some garlic and ginger. Very important. I love to add those in most of my foods. We have salt. And some onions. This is just half onion. So you can actually use a whole onion if you want to. Then we have some monosodium glutamate, also normally called Ajinomoto. I love this enhancer. Yes, it's a very good enhancer. You can find it anywhere in the grocery stores. I'm currently putting some deep and long cuts on the fish. This is to enable the seasoning to penetrate easily right into the bones, guys. If you miss this step, then you might not get the seasoning or for the fish to marinate right. So this is very important. Now 
wait a minute guys did i tell you how this fish is called it is actually called the florida pompano fish yes it's a very very nice fish i just don't know how to describe it but make sure that if you see it next time just go home and try it it is an awesome fish i remember we used to call it back in cameroon as mademoiselle in french but it is a good fish i love it it is a little bit pricey but i believe that anything that goes into your stomach or if you're an avid foodie like myself then it shouldn't be too much for you to get <laughs> It is time to blend all the spices. I am combining all the frozen um, celery and leeks together with the parsley, garlic, ginger, some scotch bonnet pepper or habanero pepper like they call it here, the really hot one. I am so lucky that everyone in this house eats pepper so I am so lucky about that. So it all depends on your choice. You may put it as well as you may not. It still works the same. Now I'm pouring my ground spices into a deep bowl but first of all I am going to take out a few scoops that I'm going to preserve or I'm going to keep to use later. I am going to explain to you when the time comes. Then I'm going to be adding some Jamaican jerk seasoning this is the hot and spicy jerk seasoning i love this listen guys if you haven't used this before you need to try this it is very good in seasoning chicken or fish or whatever it is that you want to do on a grill it is an awesome spice now i have to thoroughly mix all the spices just to make sure that it is well incorporated so next in line will be the seasoning cubes. I'm going to be adding two of those. So it all depends on the quantity of fish you're going to be making. You can add more. Now I'm adding some salt and some monosodium glutamate that I mentioned before. Then I'm going to make sure that I mix everything together. Now I have to meticulously rub the mixed spices on the fish. I have to make sure that I do that both in and out. Listen guys, this is what will determine how delicious this fish will turn out to be. So you have to be very generous about the spices. You have to be generous about the rubbing. So you have to do it thoroughly as you can see me doing right now. Yes, this is how our well-seasoned and spiced fish looks like. Since they have to be allowed to marinate, these cuties have to go into the fridge right now. I am done seasoning my fish. Yes, so those are the spices that I used. I hope you all saw the spices so I'm not going to be naming them again so I actually left some green spices mixed with all that just so that I can use use it once I'm done roasting the fish this is what I'll use anyway I'm not going to tell you the step just yet so you're going to stay glued so that you can see what I'm going to do with the spice so in the meantime I'm going to show you how the pepper for the fish is made listen 
the pepper is everything okay so if you get the pepper wrong you might not really enjoy the fish but if you follow the steps i'm going to show you like one after the other and keenly trust me you will get it right and you will enjoy your fish for the fish pepper we are going to be using some hot scotch bonnet pepper some black pepper and we are also going to use an onion you can use half if you choose we are also going to be using garlic and ginger so guys for the purpose of this video i decided not to use some of our typical important cameroon ethnic spices which we usually use for fish uh, pepper just because i don't want you to struggle to find it but if for any reason you're able to see some of these spices appearing on the screen go ahead and use it just add a little bit to this pepper and it would enhance it even more after blending my pepper i am pouring it into a small pot i am going to allow it to boil for some time at least until all the water in the pepper dries up now when there's a little bit of water left in the pepper i'll be adding a cube of seasoning i'll also add some salt i equally like to add my normal monosodium glutamate yes looking nice and enticing isn't it guys this thing is already tasting so delicious yes all the water has completely dried up and i added some vegetable oil to it just to help preserve it vegetable oil goes a long way in keeping this pepper for as long as you want to keep it in the refrigerator dance shake it 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 yeah 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 that is the kind of dance that's when you know that there's person brazil right i can hear it I what is that you. welcome back yesterday i seasoned the fish and my plan um was to actually roast it today on the grill outside but unfortunately the weather has not been favorable enough <laughs> so um i have no choice i see this right now i have no choice but to do it inside it's been raining cook out is always good when there is um, enough sun you know so i mean like pretty much good weather unfortunately that is not the case right now so i'm going to proceed to do the roasting in the oven again you know the weather might have disappointed us but trust me the more the fish stays and the seasoning it makes it taste even better um i know <laughs> it's almost 4 p.m now i've been waiting but unfortunately it's not working so it's almost 4 p.m at least everybody has had lunch so this is going to be our dinner so it's not as if somebody is starving so let's get down to business so this is the fish i just took out of the fridge yeah it is well seasoned and for the fact that it stayed all through the night the seasoning definitely has gotten right into the bones like i would say <laughs> here is the tray i'm going to be using to roast the fish i have just covered it with some foil paper i am equally going to spray this with some cooking spray you can also use normal vegetable oil that will still have the same effect. This is just to help um, keep the fish from sticking. After placing the fish on the tray, it is time to apply some oil to the fish just to enable it stay moist and good enough to roast. While the fish is in the oven roasting, I have just cut up my onion in round shapes 
and I'm going to be adding some vinegar to it and some salt. Here comes the green mixed ground spices I mentioned before. I'm just going to microwave it for like 30 seconds but I added some salt and a little bit of seasoning. At this point, the fish has been in the oven for at least 10 minutes, but you have to check momentarily depending on your type of oven. So you have to check from time to time, make sure that it is having this brown golden color. Now it is time for me to flip the side of the fish. Listen, this fish is finally ready. Yes, everybody is waiting. They can't wait to devour this fish. But before I even take it for them to devour it, I need to show you so you see exactly what it looks like. So I'm here to fix it up, like arrange it, and you know, put all the necessary last spices before I take it over to the table. You remember the green spices that I put in the microwave to steam for like a minute? So this is the the green spices that I'm going to be rubbing on the fish. Some people like it like that, but for me, I definitely need to have this on top of the fish. This is what makes it even special. Makes it, you know, looks yummy and <laughs> and palatable, if you know what I mean. The onions that I'm going to be putting on top of the fish. Without onion, no, I, I definitely need this onion. So you can actually cut it in any size or shape that you, you desire, but I like it roundish in, in shape. This is how it looks like on the plate okay so you can actually decorate your fish however you want whatever you know green spices you want green leaves you want to use green peppers bell pepper whatever the choice is entirely yours but <laughs> the nice thing that we should eat 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 long <laughs> <Yeah. Woo>. awaited <coughs> Somebody's eating bobolo. <coughs> yeah, so this is bobolo. So to those of you who who watched our last video where we went to the African market, we bought something called bobolo. Yes, so this is how <coughs> it looks. It is very ideal when it comes to eating fish. <coughs>
have seen the end result. This is how we eat fish in Cameroon. No jokes, no spoon, no protocol. This is how we do it. Yeah, so I am still trying to finish up. And by the time I finish, there will be nothing left in this plate. So, yeah. You guys don't laugh at my clothes. So this is how I do it. I've been trying so hard. Those people in this house will laugh at me. Because every time I eat, I will soil my clothes like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed our fish video leave us a comment in the comment section below <coughs> and if you succeed to do the same recipe or the how i did the fish also leave me a comment you can film it as well that would be an awesome idea new guys those of you who are new on the platform i urge you to subscribe make sure that you subscribe because seriously there are more and more videos like this coming your way thank you so much for you know hanging around with us for sticking around it means a lot i look forward to seeing you with my next video let me finish up with my fish